Hello guys, this is Paul B coming in from Makati. Welcome to the show. This is a new place that I found here in Makati. It's called Alpha Land Makati Place. It's in the corner of Malugay Street and Ayala Avenue. Now, it's a new place and I found this one quaint restaurant. It's called Burst. Burst is basically a Spanish, Filipino style restaurant. According to my mom, she ate here already. It's good. So, tara, join me as I check out Burst and let's have a good meal. Okay guys, welcome to Burst. This is Paul P. And basically, it is a Spanish Filipino style restaurant. The menu is quite diverse, mixed of Filipino favorites like Bicol Express, Sinigang, but we also have Spanish dishes like Lengua, Silvana, and Paella. Paella is basically a rice dish that is mostly meat. You saute the meat, then you add herbs and spices to it, then you add your rice and you let it simmer until it's cooked, then you cover it until it's a bit crusty at the bottom. So, I'll show you now the food. Uh, and this is what, so, so far this is what we ordered. For our first dish, we have paella. We decided to get an all meat paella, topped with tomatoes, and there's a lot of meat on it. And then we have our lengua. Lengua is beef or ox tongue. Look at that, guys. It looks so good. And they have a special soup. It's basically a side soup that they give you so that we can start your meal with a warm stomach. And this is something that they are proud of. This is Pocot Baboy. It's basically crispy pork with crispy tofu. It comes with this sour sauce that is somewhat a mixture of vinegar and soy sauce. With a bit of sugar. It's going to be the one to counter the oiliness and the fattiness of the pork. I suggest you eat this with rice. It's a weekend today, guys, so I can eat rice. So, tara kain tayo. Okay, guys, for my first bite of this meal, I'm going to try their soup. This is their soup. Look at it. It looks plain and simple, but it has malunggay. Malunggay is a type of vegetable that we have here in the Philippines. It is actually I have no idea what you call it in English, but. It's basically eaten by pregnant women so that they will lactate more. <laughs> That's just a bit too much information I know. That's what the old people would say. So this is malonggay and corn soup according to the waitress. It comes free from your, with your dish. So let's give it a try. Oh. That's good soup. Basically, they have used sweet corn, literally, sweet corn, and wow, it's really flavorful. It's a very good start to the meal. Give it another try. Mmm, see, that's what you say, that's what you call a good soup. Good soup should warm you up, not only here, but here, and then the malunggay perfectly cooked it's not undercooked it's not overcooked it's just perfectly cooked and the corn you can really taste the corn this is not the instant stuff guys see this is it's called homemade cooking oh. okay guys now we will try the paella this is their paella as you can see they use I think this is Arborio or California rice. It smells good. You can see that they use a bit of saffron and they use pork, slivers of pork, chorizo, and I think this is chicken. So it really is an all meat dish. So, we'll give it a shot. If 
can say rice is al dente, it's somewhat like that. It's not too overcooked. You can taste the chorizo, you can taste the saffron, and you can also taste the pork and the chicken. It's really good. Let's give it another shot. The more you chew it, the more flavorful it gets. I think this is really a good dish. And it, I think it would pair well with the Tokmat Baboy. So we'll go try that out. There's some of the tofu. There's some of the pork. Oops. This is the secret to this. Their sauce. Their sauce. It's what makes the dish. So, we'll try the tofu with some... No, no. We'll try the tofu first alone. The sauce is a bit on the salty side. But that's good. Not too sour, not too sweet. I think it's really good. Now, we'll try the pork. Oh, this is pork skin, guys. Pork skin. Look at that. Chicharron. Oh. It's crispy. Crunchy. Very savory. The chicharron is really good. Now, let's, let's try eating this with some rice. So, I'll we'll get a bit, a bit of pork. A bit of the tofu, then a bit of the paella. Mm. That's a good bite. So now let's try the lengua. Now this is a good dish. Why? Not everybody knows how to make this. It's what I would call a labor of love dish because it takes so long to cook. Basically brace the tongue until it's tender, and then you slice it. Once you slice it, you thicken the sauce, make a basically, you make a gravy, then you put back the tongue in, that doesn't sound right. You turn the meat, and you let it simmer, until it's really fork tender. See, look how tender it is. I'm not, I'm not even putting too much effort on it. Look at that. It's starting to shred. That's what you call really, really tender tongue. We'll try the tongue itself for a bite, with a bite. See that? Oh, that's good. You can really taste the garlic. I believe they use a bit of red wine. It's really tender, but it's a bit too tender for my taste. I want it a bit, with a bit of a bite, so that I will know it's really calm. But all in all, it's really good. So now we'll try it with rice. We start with rice. Everything tastes better with rice. Guys. I know it's Sunday now, so I can eat rice. <laughs> mm. That's good. I think that calls for a second bite. Mm. I think that has to be one of my favorite dishes here. But we have one more dish that recently arrived. Now, this is something new. If you didn't see this a while ago, it just arrived. This is caldereta. It's basically a beef, I think brisket, sometimes shank, braised in a tomato sauce, sauteed with olives, mushrooms. Basically Filipino style beef stew. And it's always served with potatoes. See that potato? 
some olives. So we get a piece of the meat. So now let's try this. Try it as it is, just the meat. Oh, it's kind of spicy. Oh, it's really spicy. <coughs> Whew. That's what you call good caldereta. Caldereta is a Filipino dish. Filipino Spanish dish. And it is basically eaten when there's a celebration. Like a fiesta, birthday. And this is really tender. It's very flavorful. Now we will try it with some rice. Again with the paella rice. Wow. Well, the paella rice really goes well with any dish here. It really, <laughs> it's really spicy. My nose is starting to sweat. <laughs> but it's still good. A bit of spice is always good. So, I will continue with my meal and I'll give you the review later. Okay guys, what meal would be complete if there is no dessert? So, since this is a Spanish Filipino restaurant, we decided to order some Spanish Filipino desserts. This is San Trival. My aunt in Canada makes this so well. It's basically a nut meringue layer on top of a buttercream and then layered and layered and layered and layered and layered and then topped with crushed peanuts and a delicious buttercream frosting. And then we have this. This is Sylvanas. Sylvanas is a dish, basically somewhat like the San Cival, but it's meringue and meringue sandwich buttercream. Then covered with this, I think this is cake crumbs. So, we will now give them both a try. The, may the fork be with you. Oh yeah, the Sylvanas looks good. Turn it. As you can see guys, see that? There's a buttercream frosting in the middle and two meringues on both sides. I forgot to mention this has to always be, this has to be served frozen that was really cold <laughs> but it's really good you can taste the buttercream you can taste the meringue it's basically a spanish filipino style macaron so now we will try that sans rival oh look at that Shot. Ooh. I like this better than the Sylvanas one. It's a lot sweeter. You still taste body cream and the meringue. Really, really good for a simple looking dessert. You can taste the peanuts, they roasted it first before grinding it and mixing it with the meringue. The buttercream is not that sweet, but the balance of the sweetness of the meringue and the buttercream put together is perfect. So, I will finish my dessert and then I will give you the review of the restaurant later. This is Paul P. of Always Good of Never Musog. This is my review of Burst. The food, I give it 5 out of 5 Always Good on points. The ambiance, I give it about 4 out of 5. 
small, plain place. The music is perfectly quiet, not too noisy, not too loud. The service, I give it out of four, a four out of five. And I can only say that the food is really good. The price, this is new. This is new. The price, I can give it three out of five. Always good on points. It's very affordable. It doesn't break the bag, and the food is really worth the, food, the price that you're paying. So, this is Paul P of Always to Tom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next vlog. If you want, if you want me to visit any other place here in Manila, comment it in the comment it down below, and see you in the next vlog. Bye bye. Tara kain tayo.